Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CV Minute video series on binary tree interview question series and this video is about finding the longest path sum in a binary tree. Meaning, if your binary tree is like this, then the longest path is this guy from here to here and then here and then here. And it is possible that this path is not the maximum sum. We are not looking for the maximum sum in any path. No, we are looking for the biggest or the longest path node sums. So it is possible that there are these nodes and the longest path is like this. Now we have this is longest path, not this one now. And the addition of this one can be lesser than this. So we are looking for this addition like one, one, two, six, eight and nine. So we are looking for nine answer, not this, this and this because this is not the longest path. OK, so longest path nodes sum is the requirement. And one more thing, you can have all the levels at same level, meaning the longest path what we are looking for is like this. We have all the nodes, I mean, leaf nodes at the same level. Then what? Then what would be the output? The output would be the maximum sum available. So for this and this, we have four, two and one. So it is seven and then one, two and five. This is eight and then one, three and six. This is 10. So we will return this as an output because all are at same level. So we should return 10 here because this is the maximum sum. OK, so first condition is you should return the longest path. If there is no longest path available or there are longest path available, but there is a competition. So we, we can see the competition here, right? We have longest path, but three nodes are competing for that. So if there is a competition, then we will return the maximum sum we get out of those competitions. So having said that, let's try to understand how you'll do that. So I'll make it maybe nine here. Okay. So this is our initial tree. So now how would you think like how to solve this? So when you are traversing, you have to keep the track. Like if you are at some node, let's say this one. So when you are going back from here, you should know that is this the highest level? If yes, then what is the sum? So basically you will keep summing one plus two. So you will send three here. Okay. So this place you should have three and then three plus four, seven. So sum is going to be seven here. And level is like, this is your zeroth level, one level and second level. So you will see I have levels two and initially the levels and sum will be zero, right? So you will see I am at level two. So for level two, I have sum as seven. But the moment you go back from here to here, what you have to do is you have to remember that I have already a sum available seven at level two. So when you are going here, then obviously you have to go here and here in order to compute this thing. You have to be completed uh, this guy and this guy, right? So basically you'll go from here to here now and then from here to here. And then when you hit this, then you will st start deciding, okay, whether this leaf node is at the highest level. So now you see this, you have hit this. So this is like third level. So now you see this is third level. And what is the sum? One plus two, three, three plus five, eight, eight plus nine, 17. So level is three. I know I have visited so far. The max level I could go was two. Now I am at level three. No matter what is the sum, I will update that. So this max sum is like now 17 and then you'll go back from here to here and you'll do the same calculation here also now because you're going back right and recursion works like this. So now you will be at second level here, right? When you're going to process this node. But the idea is you will see I am at level two, but I have already visited level three. So I know I have a max path already available. So I will not do this calculation or update anything. So I have max level three and 17 as max sum. So now you'll go back from here to here. So if you're going from here to here now, as you completed this first and then you went 
here, here, and then you completed. So you're going back from here to here. Now you will process this guy, right? But the level is one here. And you know that my maximum level is pointing at level three. So I will not take care of this one because I have already taken the longest sum. I mean, longest path sum. So this is less than this three. So I will not do anything. I'll go back from here to here. Here, obviously level is zero. So I have already a level three, meaning I should not process this also. Then my whole this left thing is done. Then I'll go for the right one and then here. And I'm talking about the post order traversal. Okay. So that's why I'm visiting. I mean, I'm going till the end and then I'm doing this backward comparison because it is a post order because you cannot do any processing by reaching to a node, meaning either in order or pre order, because you don't know what is the actual length down below. So you have to do the calculation backwards only when you're going back. So that is post order traversal. So if you're reaching here, then you know that this is level two, but I already have a max level three. So I won't consider this also as my sum. I mean, sum of like one plus three is like four and then six is like 10. I won't consider this 10 because I, I have already visited a longest path and the sum is 17. So you'll return from here, return from here. And in the end, you will return this maximum sum. That's it. Let's look at the code now. So this is your code here. And this is the starting function. Sum of the longest root leaf path. See, we'll pass our node. I mean root here. So this is the root will pass here. I have taken two global variables for this calculation, max sum and max level. So when we reach any max level, we'll update this max level and max sum and intermediate levels and sums will be in this local level and local sum for this stacks. So this level and this sum is going to be the local for all the stacks we create. So one stack will create another stack and another stack. So these level and sum are going to be the local for this. So lo level and sum level and sum because see we are creating this level and sum in each and every call. So if you will call this, you will create a new sum here because this is integer sum. Okay. We are not passing this as a reference here. So that's why this is going to be treated as local for all the stacks their individual local variable and local sum variable, but this max sum and max level are treated as a global variable. So they will be like single for each and every stack. So we have this max sum and max level, this one and this one. So as I told you, this is going to store the maximum so far we could reach. And then these are going to store the intermediate ones. Okay. So let's just start this calculation. We'll initially get this one here as a root. We'll send zero, zero, and this one as a root here, and then we'll receive that in this helper. And as I told you, right, this sum and level is going to be the local. So we have this sum is equal to like sum plus roots data. So roots data is one. So it is going to be one and level is one because we passed zero from here. So zero plus one is one. So this particular node, we received one here, right in this call. So we have one, zero and zero. So for this root, we have this sum value and this level value, and then we'll go for the left. So we'll go from here to here now, but see, we are passing this updated level and updated sum. So now for this root, the sum is going to be two plus one because two is for its root data. So your current data is two plus whatever you received from top. So sum is one, right? So two plus one, three and level is going to be just one addition. So level plus one is going to be two. And similarly from here to here, because you'll again hit this line after these few lines, and then the sum is going to be seven and level is going to be three for this. And you will try to go further but you cannot go because your root will be null here and then we'll return zero from here. So you will get zero from here. And similarly, after returning from here, you will try to execute this one, this line, but you will still get 
zero from here because there is nothing. So zero from here and zero from here. Now after executing this line, you will hit this line for this particular node. Okay. So here you will check is my level is greater than max level. You are currently max level is zero only. Initially we will have, okay, I'll write max level and max sum. So initially they were zero. Now you are checking them till now you didn't do anything with the max level and max sum. Now you are checking that for this particular node because this can be the maximum path or the longest path. So you will check for this. So you will do this check for each and every node. Okay. So as we are doing for this level is currently three. We can see that here and max level is zero. Yes, it is true. So we'll go and update max sum is equal to sum and max level is equal to level. So now max level is going to be three and max sum is going to be seven. And then we'll go back because we are done. The moment you reach here, meaning you actually would have gone from here, from this line. Now you are coming back. So you have to execute this line for this stack. So you'll go here and this time for this, your sum is going to be three plus five, eight. Your sum is eight and level is three. And then you'll go here for this guy, eight plus nine, 17. So your sum is 17 and level is four. So now you will try to go to left here, but you will get zero from here. You will get zero from here also. Now, as you have done these two recursion for this node, then you will do this calculation, right? So see level is greater than max level. Your max level is three, but current level is four. So meaning this is a new node, which you found and having greater level than before you visited any other level. So let's make this calculation also. So now you will update these max sums. So max sum is going to be this time 17 and your max level is going to be four. And then you'll go back. And as you are coming back from here, meaning you have done these two calculations, I mean, these two recursive calls. Now you'll do this again, but your level, meaning your current level is three, but your max level is four now. So you will not do any operation in this and you will see else if your level is equal to equal to max level. Why this? Because there could be a competition between levels if all the levels or maybe two levels are same. So you have to check this condition also. If both levels are same, then you will consider maximum of your current sum or already stored or previous sum. So your max sum is going to be the maximum of your current sum. So current sum, I mean, but here you will not have this condition because your level is three right now and your max level is four. So this is not equal. So you will not go inside this also. So basically you will return from here and then you will go from here. But see, this is also level three only, right? You will come here, here, and you will do all these calculations. I'm not going to do that again. So I, I think you understood this, but see, you will, you can max reach level three, but your maximum level you already reached was four. So you'll not do anything with this calculation here and you will not do anything here. You'll return and return. And from here, see, we are actually returning the maximum sum. So maximum sum is 17 and that is the result, right? But let's suppose this was not there. This nine was not there. Then, then how you will calculate it? Let's look at this uh, else condition also. Okay. So if, this is the case, then this is level three. It's okay. You would have reached to this if condition for this five after completing the left and right for this node. So you would have received zero from left, zero from right. Now you're going to do this particular calculation. Okay. So see level is equal to, uh, greater than max level. No, your level is three and max level. Also, you would have reached three only here. Let me erase this. So your max level is three and your max sum is seven. Okay. Because you just visited this and now you're going to visit this guy. So see your max level is three and your level is also three. So this is not true, but you will go into the else condition and level three is equal to level three. This time, this is also level three only, right? So level three with max level three. Yes, they are equal. So now see, you will have max of sum and max sum. So max sum is 
7 but you have some as 8. So now this guy wins because it has the bigger sum. See this is 4 and this is 5. So this 5 will win because the parents are same. So 1, 2 and 5, 1, 2 and 4. So this is going to win for, for now because see we have bigger sum here 6, 3 and 1. So this is like 10 here. So this will eventually win but for now as this is true we'll have max sum replaced as 8 and level is going to be 3 only because both are same level and then we'll go back from here and this level is 2 so we'll not do any operation here and we'll go back here we'll come here here now as you're reaching here when you would have reached at 3 the sum is like 4 and level is like 2 so when you're going from 3 to 6 your sum is like 4 plus 6 10 and your level is 3 this time and then you will try to go to left but you will get 0 you will try to go to right you will get 0 so this call and this call are done for this node and then level is greater than max level no you will see level is equal to equal to max level yes max level is 3 and my level is also 3 so see now you will have current sum which is 10 and your max sum which was 8 which is the maximum 10 so your max sum will be 10 now and in the end you are returning maximum sum from here so 10 is the result if we have the competition between the path good exercise right yeah thanks for watching guys bye bye take care and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys it will help me a lot thank you bye bye see you in the next videos